Good morning YouTube, as I said <coughs> in my last video, I'd do an update on my Dubia roaches, so here we go. As you can see, I'm still keeping them in this black rub with all these egg crates. They're doing really, really well. There's just a few there. I've been finding there's been loads of nymphs and stuff running around all over the place, breeding really well. I tend not to touch the females and the males when I'm doing feeding, for two reasons really. One, I don't have any tarantulas especially now that my geniculata has gone, that are big enough to warrant feeding them the, the adults. And two, I, I just sort of want to just let them breed. So I tend to, if I'm feeding my large ones, use big, big sub-adults like that one there. But you can see, you see here, there's loads of them still. <coughs> I've not really noticed many, many deads lying around anywhere, to be honest. Um, so I think I'm sort of keeping them fairly well. And I find the water gel to be a bit rubbish that people recommend. I don't find that very good. So what I've been using personally is I'll cut up a, a cucumber roughly around once a week and throw it in there and they, they seem to love the cucumber. They plough through that very, very quickly. So I just use that myself. First thing. I need to clean this box out a little bit, it's a bit messy, but no, they're doing really, really well, loads of nymphs all over the place. So I've got uh, my heat cable on the side of the box which has some polystyrene backed up against it to direct the heat into the box, and then just these egg crates, some food, I use uh, sugar puffs. When it comes to breeding, I'll be putting in lots of orange segments because I I've heard that helps <coughs> with breeding. I don't know why, but it does. And for water, like I said, I put in cucumber and it seems to work. So if anyone has any questions on that, send me a, uh, an email or something and I'll, and I'll answer it. Also, on the P. regalis front, I have found myself an adult female, which I bought off of RFUK. So that should hopefully be coming sometime next week. I paid £45, which is for the tarantula and the shipping included. So I'm fairly happy with the price. And I'll be moving the female into the male's enclosure there on the right. So you can see, I'll be moving it into there. And I shall be getting a large cereal container to put the male into. Um, and when I when I put him into the cereal enclosure, I shall be putting some live plants in there before I put the female in there. So that'll be quite cool. I'll do a video on that. Um, that's about it for now. I shall do my HNC update uh, just after I do this. So yeah, cheers guys.